All right, so we finally got back on the water here uh, in LaSalle uh, on the Detroit River. And it uh, looks like the weather's turning a little bit grim. Um, I've got my, my Sims Challenger full suit on, which is gonna keep me nice and warm and dry. Um, fishing's been pretty hot from what I hear. So we're gonna go out, try out our min fins, and we're gonna try out a new bait that we haven't named yet. Um, it's a new goby bait. Uh, that has really perfect anatomy. Um, I'm pretty excited about this bait actually. Uh, I think it's more of a bass bait, uh, but uh, I'm gonna see if we can get some walleye on it. I, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to get any walleye on it. Uh, we'll definitely go with the traditional minfin and we've got our grumpy worm and uh, we'll see how we can make out here. Um, like I said, the, the conditions are changing. I don't know if you've seen the background there but uh, we've got some pretty grim skies our way coming our way um, I'm not too concerned about it they're not calling for lightning strikes uh, water is a perfect perfect call slaughter water or maybe even a, long, a little bit on the clear side um, either way we're just gonna we're gonna head up the river and see if we can hook into some walleye and uh, and test out some new baits see you out there all right just uh, got on the Detroit here and we're trying out our new bait which you know we haven't named it yet um, <laughs> hello little guy um, this one is the uh, the new goby next generation goby I had two hands here next next generation goby um, with a Domo's jig. Let me just show you. So that's what that uh, that new goby jig looks like. That's the purple pearl color and it's on a Domo's custom jig. Uh, three quarter ounce I believe that is. And I'm just tapping it off the bottom. We just got here started using this. I've got another color that's more natural and uh, picked up two fish pretty quickly. So, uh, so far so good. All right. Walleye number three in the box and look what he's on again that new goby uh, again Domo's jig and then we got him on this on this uh, on that new goby wow I'm super happy with the performance of this bait so far it's gonna be time to bring that home and see if we can catch some more falters let's get him in a box I have no idea what this is. It's, it's cranking. It is cranking. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna put the phone down for a big, big musky. Big musky on my. Big musky on my. Uh, holy shit. Yeah. Big musky. On my goby. If I can get this thing in, it'll be kind of a joke. I don't even know how he didn't break me off yet. <laughs> Big one. Holy. Oh, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Big musky. So here's me fishing all summer long. And I hook into one of these puppies on the new. This is the purple. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Let's see if I can show you guys. There he is. Look at the size of that fish. Oh my. He's a big one. Let's see. I don't wanna lose my phone. And I'm only on six pound. Look at the size of this fish. There's not a chance I'm getting him in the net. Look at this thing. That thing's massive. Oh, on the purple. You see the purple? That is the purple pearl. <laughs> oh, brother. I wish I had a GoPro on my head right now. Okay, I'm going to bring him up one more time and then I'm going to see if I can get him at least a little bit in the net. In the net. Purple pearl. I can believe that or what? Look at there he is. 
Look at that purple pearl. That's where that's where that guy hit. Right there, just nicely. Right on the. It looks like a friggin' looks like a friggin' uh, what you call it? Like a friggin' uh, you think I can even touch this thing? Probably not. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. There he spit it. He spit it. Sweet. Purple pearl goby, buddy. Okay. We've got another nice size walleye that just came on the the new uh, goby that we we haven't named yet. Uh, nonetheless, it's been performing beyond expectation. So that's Mr. Walleye. He hit on that incredible goby looking new goby that we've we've created um, that's actually believe it or not uh, our lake simple color goby um, but uh, but it seems to work anywhere we called it a lake simple because that was the the time we released the initial color uh, for ice fishing but that um, that color combination it's got a pearly back to it um, a golden pearly belly has been stellar and that's on a Domo's custom jig um, it's been really good let's get back out all right, success on the Detroit River. Uh, I've fished the, the river alone today due to some uh, some restrictions out here. I uh, was trying out our new goby. I'll show you some photos of that. And, uh, oh, just missed one. Very successful day. Um, in fact, the uh, the more natural color in this clear water seemed to make the, the big difference. Um, so I went from uh, the purple pearl color that uh, is part of our, our standard uh, color set uh, to the Lake Simcoe color here on Lake Lake Simcoe, not Lake Simcoe, on the Detroit River. And, um, and it's, been, it's been very, very effective. Um, and so it, it, the whole point of it is it, it's supposed to look like a goby, and it, and it really does. And I'll show you, uh, show you exactly what that bait looks like. Um, and uh, we can go through some of the colors uh, when I get off the water. But uh, very successful day. Um, really good fish. Hooked into a giant muskie. Uh, have that on video as well. Uh, doing it myself made it a bit of a challenge. But, um, you know, we've got right now 50 degrees surface temp. Uh, the, the season really is well underway here on the Detroit for walleye. Uh, they haven't been catching the, the silver bass yet, uh, or the white bass. Uh, those should be coming soon anytime. Um, but the walleye are definitely on right now. And traditionally, most guys out here will fish with, with a minnow style bait, similar to our minfin, uh, which is a, a traditional bait. Uh, there's another popular bait. Um, call, it's, a, it's the shape of a worm. I mean, we, we have, there's two manufacturers. One's the wind out worm, and the other is the bondi worm. Um, they're very similar. They're just a small three, uh, three inch, three and a half inch worm. Very slender, nothing special to it. Um, but uh, I challenge you to this. If you're out here in the Detroit and things are tough um, and you're using your traditional minnow or worm bait and you're not catching them, hey, why not try a bait that represents what they feed on most of their life when they're not in this river or even when they're in this river and that's a, a round goby uh, so that's the whole idea of our company we founded the company on manufacturing producing uh, goby like baits um, pretty much because we're surrounded by the great lakes that are infested with gobies and gobies just happen to be the number one food source for most of the species that us anglers are, are targeting. So it just makes common sense that you might want to put a goby on. And uh, Grumpy Baits, we offer them more gobies than any other bait company uh, in North America. Uh, we have now over six, perhaps even seven styles of goby baits with over, I think we're at about 34 different color pattern, uh, palettes. So, a lot to choose from there. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get back to it. Get some fish before it gets dark. All right, let's try something here. Just drop my line. I got the goby on. Let's see how how things happen here with respect to fish on.
it's been pretty steady. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> no word of a lie. Oh, and he's off. That's what happens when, you, when you're trying to do two things at once. There's the bait. Let's get back down. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's really the perfect day. It's, sorry about all this. It's really the perfect day to be out here. Overcast, a little bit of rain. Um, I mean, the wind, this is the first time this year, this is probably my fourth trip out this year. Earlier I was testing out our new Minfin, um, and uh, lucky me, it was always 20, 30 mile an hour or kilometer winds with, uh, with gusts up to, oh, there's a fish. Let's see if I can get him. That hit him, hammer fast. That did not take long at all. This is look at look at the size of that fish. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go and see if I can net him. I don't know if I can net him or not. Doing the double, the single hander. Oh, and he does it. <laughs> this has been just a stellar day. Like it's just non-stop action, and. I'm extremely pleased, once again, with the performance of that bait. Guys, you gotta get this bait. It is stellar, stellar, stellar. All right, just uh, figured out a way to set up my camera on my dashboard here. And I uh, thought I'd spend a couple minutes giving you the skivvy on what, uh, what I've been doing. Um, so, on the Detroit River, uh, it's May 6th, oh, May 6th, 2021, COVID time. I'm out here alone, testing out a new bait that, uh, that I've been working on for several months and finally got, got it into shape and, and, uh, poured some, some different colors. Right now, the color that has been just tremendous for me today is is this very natural looking color uh, you can see here it really does look like a goby it's got a, a pearly browny olivey color back speckled and underneath it's a golden pearl just really just like a real goby uh, and I've got that on a three-quarter ounce jig head that a buddy of mine Domo from Domo's Custom Tackle makes very popular here on the Detroit essentially just dropping it on the bottom lifting lifting drop can't leave it sit too long or you'll get snagged lifting lifting and I'm only lifting maximum six and a half seven say eight inches max and uh, every once in a while I'm bringing it way high up to see if if uh, to see if I can see a fish following it or not and I've had a few um, what a stellar stellar day uh, got on the water really late 1 30 quarter to two something like that in the afternoon um, well I've I've landed well over 20 walleye already including uh, a, oh look at that <laughs> just literally just dropped it and there it was it doesn't feel like a big one uh, that's a super small one but you'll see what I mean they just they just inhale that and why why is it that they inhale that well they they've been that fish there that's a one and a half year of class fish um, that those fish have been feeding on those goby their entire life they these fish a lot of them come from uh, either Lake St. Clair or Lake Erie and uh, and so most of those fish nowadays is a little different, but nowadays with the invasive species around goby, uh, the, the most sport species are focusing on goby as their nutritional source. Um, they don't really have a bad defense neck mechanism, so they they don't have claws or really sharp spikes like a yellow perch would have. Um, they're actually fairly fatty and they're easy to catch and so a lot of these fish have chosen to to uh, 
feed on goby and so when they're up here spawning pre and post spawn particular post spawn when the water temperature heats up they start to uh, to change up and they feed really heavily back to their primary food source which is goby um, so anyway uh, I hope that you'll give our baits a try uh, this is one of I don't know how many we've got hand poured we've got handmade um, this in particular one it's not even on the market yet I'm just testing it uh, it comes in a variety of colors uh, let me just show you some so you just saw the this one right here technically is the that color is actually the Lake Simcoe color um, we've got a number of other colors if you uh, if one of our de facto standard or standard colors is copper back so that's our copper back in that same style bait we have natural goby gold also in that same style bait uh, this is the this is their natural color there the Lake Simcoe natural goby and we have a really neat color it's one of my favorite actually it's called purple pearl so it's got that bluey purple belly and it, on the top it's got a, a bunch of purple gold fleck and it's a, a brown body um, and we also have your other typical colors like like this is your pearly olive color and we have green pumpkin so a lot of different colors to choose from um, and, and you know what actually this color right here is a really nice color this is natural goby green those are all going to be really, really good for the, the bass season. It's not open yet here in, in most of parts of Ontario. And, uh, uh, but I have a funny feeling you're going to see a lot of tournaments this year that uh, guys placing in top top five with this goby bait. It's, it's a very full body goby bait. Um, meaning that the, the fish that's going to take this is going to be big and it's going to be hungry. And, um, and you're also going to need, I would estimate, at minimum a 2 aught hook uh, or a 3 aught hook uh, for those baits. Whether you're drop shotting, whether you're putting it on a Ned uh, or just a regular swim bait jig head, whatever. Um, you're going to need a 2 aught or a 3 aught hook and um anyway give them a go there they've been fantastic today here on the detroit let's go get some more oh there's there's one <laughs> no way that's just hilarious just about to turn it off oh look at that and guess what proof is in the pudding they do catch bass too <laughs> so there's a nice smallie at a season i'm gonna get him back but guess what there you go you saw it first here that is the first smallmouth bass ever caught on our new goby. Sweet.